Hey friends, welcome to Techers Treasure. In this video, uh, I will be not installing any ROM, but uh, one bug uh, which affects all the ROM, and uh, many a times uh, you have seen it. I have also seen it when you install many types of ROM, and after you flash Google G apps, you always get a message that your AOSP keeps stopping. That is the Android open source project keyboard that it comes pre-installed now how can you notice that your AOSP has stopped or isn't responding just head on to Wi-Fi and when you just try to connect any network or else when it comes to typing you see the keyboard won't appear right not only that, but uh, many a times when you are doing some important task and a message or a pop-up appears telling you that your AOSP or say the keyboard has stopped working. So I have found out uh, a very good solution. So in this tutorial we will talk about the solution. I had uh, just uh, done to show you the rough like uh, what we are going to talk about. So friends. Uh, you'll have to download two files, uh, links are in the description. The first one is the system map remover and it needs root access but luckily we have our phone rooted from first that is pre-rooted. Second one is the swift key keyboard. Now this is the application which will replace the AOSP Android open source project keyboard which keeps stopping in our phone and uh, we can't work with it now just one thing after you download it you have to uh, connect your memory card with your PC with a card reader or connect your phone and transfer both of the files to your mobile SD card hey friends I successfully transferred both of the APK files in my SD card now let's uh, quickly install it uh, I'll just quickly install both of the files here in front of you so these are the two files. Let me install the first one. Okay, install. See, this is the pop up which I was talking about. It didn't appear in time. See, this message has been coming since long, and I'm not able to use my keyboard. So I made this tutorial for all of you who have been facing this problem. Just now close this app. I just not need it. Installing. Okay, so just now don't open it. Then just click on done, and uh, we'll install the second app. There is the TouchWiz. TouchWiz on a Swiss key keyboard. Not TouchWiz. Sorry, man. Just pronounced it wrong okay so swift key keyboard and just install it will take less time let it install Okay, so you installed it. <clears throat> now I'll just recommend you first of all just head on to settings. Okay, okay, so we're into settings now. It'll take some time to load and uh, let me show you yes so here just go to language and input okay yes here it is language and input and uh, first of all let me just confirm I've opened this to just confirm just now we have the AOSP keyboard open 
so now just press the home button and locate swift key keyboard okay here it is just open it let it load tutorial so first is we have to enable swift key okay so here is the swift key and we'll just okay and just disable this AOSP keyboard okay so we'll click on back and see you have got the current keyboard is swift key okay so just go back into the application now uh, get better predictions okay let us enable it okay so we'll just skip it and say not now so yeah we are finally into the swift key keyboard and you can see you can just type anything you want now friends now comes the second step is to uninstall the AOSP keyboard so the pop-up doesn't appear anymore so for that you have root privileges now you just have to open the app what is it yes system app remover now just wait till it loads and allow the root permission so that it can access your root okay so it should ask okay till it doesn't ask uh, we'll just locate the android keyboard just let me go down Good. Okay, so here is the Android open source. Oh, oh man, it was one. So just need to uninstall it. Okay, so just click on no just now. So we don't need it. Yes. Sorry, yes. Just click on yes. And yeah, let it uninstall. Uninstalling all takes okay. We successfully uninstalled, and now what comes is you have successfully troubleshooted your bug. Congrats! And okay, now let us test it. So just head on to Wi Fi, okay? So here now my. Wi-Fi has a password so let me type in the password and see if the keyboard appears or not in previously uh, previously I showed you that the keyboard wasn't popping up and minute okay so right here we have the Swift key keyboard popping up we're gonna just so friends thanks for watching my video I know there is some lags in between but yeah the system is more somewhat slow but yeah then also we have successfully troubleshooted the bug thanks for watching please like subscribe and share my video if you liked it